Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Chelsea, and they take on Brighton. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And they kick off here. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Raheem Sterling. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Havertz Conte and he read it well defensively might go ahead can they cover up well what an opportunity but really good defending you've got to say Moises Caicedo March well back Using his body to good effect. Sterling. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Superbly read and executed. Welbeck. Keeping it out. <laughs> Over it comes. No worries for the keeper. They're sitting ever deeper. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Long way out, still a chance. 
danger averted for now. Reese James. Sterling has it. Counter attacking, very much an option. Kai Havertz. Firing is in. And no way through. Promising looking ball. Trossard. Must take the lead here. Shot blocked, but still alive. Really getting stuck in. Sterling. Teammates available. Opportunity it is. Sterling. And saved by the keeper. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see, but they haven't done enough with it, particularly in the midfield areas, where their passing has been far too safe. And that needs to change quickly if they're to win this one. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. And is it going to end up being productive for them? And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, it's Chelsea in front. And Stuart, an opportune moment to get your take. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Sterling! Marvellous anticipation! And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, a lot to like about Kai Havertz and what he put into the first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal... So the beginning of the second half here in West London. Danny Welbeck shields it here, waiting for a teammate. Not high quality defending. Reese James. Conte has it. Mount. Mount. Conte. Gives it a go. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Well, opting for the short corner. And the Chelsea throw-in coming up here. James. Now with Mount. Conte. Must be! 
couldn't quite hang on. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Using his strength to shield the ball. March. Dunk on the ball. Tossard. Quick thinking defensively. Aspili Quetta. We're getting the ball forward. He could pick out a teammate. Pretty straightforward in the end. Now we're into the final half hour. Chilwell. Sterling. It opens up for Havertz. And pushed away to safety. Out of play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Well, possibilities inside the box. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Tossar. Alexis McAllister. Very quick thinking there. This might be ideal for the counter. Mount. A Chelsea corner. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And he's fired over the corner. And the problem not completely solved. Closing down well. James. Kovacic! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. It's a short corner. I'm just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Well, Chelsea have controlled the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Nice and easy for the keeper. Sterling. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Havertz. And Sterling finds that bit of space to finish so clinically. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. March. Really good challenge. Havertz. Kovacic. Getting in there to intercept. Well, as the second half draws to a close, we can reflect on a very fine Chelsea performance.
Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Enoch Mwepu. And we've entered the final five minutes. Ziyech. Corner awarded. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Trying to deliver it accurately. And able to get a body in the way. Aspiliqueta, Koulibaly, good tackle. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Denis Undav. How about the cross? And Thiago Silva knows a thing or two about blocking. And that'll be Brighton's ball. Gross. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So the final whistle and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture. Well Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.